In this video, we are going to discuss the impact of crude price volatility on the Indian economy, specifically Indian imports. Uh, how does the crude price impact those? So very recently, we saw this news uh, about you know Saudi oil uh, output being cut into half after uh, drones uh, attacked the Saudi Aramco site. Uh, so this cut in the production of about 5.7 million barrels a day, uh, which is about half of the output of Saudi Arabia, incidentally was uh, the biggest ever disruption, supply disruption in oil uh, history uh, across the last uh, you know many decades. So oil prices were kind of uh, bound to shoot up because there was supply disruption. So prices kind of jumped. Uh, in response to this uh, this entire activity at this point of time it's important to try and understand what kind of impact would this have on let's say an emerging economy like India that imports a lot of oil so we know India is a net oil importer and uh, you know almost 80% of our requirement of oil is imported so we did some quick analysis on the numbers to understand what uh, you know what do we do and what kind of impacts happen there. Uh, so all the data has been uh, kind of sourced from a particular website. Uh, the website of Petroleum Planning and Analysis Cell uh, under the Ministry of uh, Petroleum, uh, Government of India. So that's uh, the website that uh, you could see, and all the data is basically available on this website in terms of you know what is the import export that we do. Uh, consumption prices of crude and so on and so forth basket for India so all this data is available we picked this data for the last seven to eight uh, financial years and uh, use certain assumptions in this data so the total crude oil and crude product imports of India in thousand metric tons right is given here in the first row that you see we have uh, used a conversion factor because oil prices are typically given in barrels of oil. So uh, a simple assumption has been made here. One metric ton roughly is equivalent to 7.3 barrels of oil. So you've converted into million barrels of oil here. Uh, then uh, we made certain assumptions there as well that you know crude and crude products may have different uh, densities uh, so actual conversion in terms of barrels of oil could be different but we have kind of roughly equated them in volume terms so the values are approximately uh, you know approximate values in barrel terms the total import bill right this is the import uh, data that we have so total import bill in US dollar million is available and total import bill in INR crore is also available Right, so using these two, so let's call this one, let's call this two, let's call this three and four. Uh, I can use three and four, basically four divided by three to get an average INR USD rate over the last many years. So we see a consistent depreciation in the currency over, uh, over this period. I can also calculate uh, the total US dollar million data uh, in terms of this data here and uh, use three and two to calculate what is the price per barrel approximate price per barrel remember these are annual averages calculated so there may be a little degree of approximation that is playing out here but we can quickly recall that oil prices used to hover in the range of you know 100 212 dollars a barrel in till 2014 financial year then they kind of fell all the way down to about 45 went up went up currently hovering around 60 to 65 uh, in the global markets right so we are trying to kind of identify what happens when oil prices go up, what happens when uh, demand goes up and what happens when currency goes down. So all of these things are kind of being evaluated here. We are going to look at a few uh, parameters here in terms of our understanding. So we can evaluate the impact by changing the crude price by a dollar and see what's the impact. We can change the currency rate by a rupee and see what's the impact. And we can do a quick impact analysis by changing both. So we're going to go to an Excel file and try and do this. What we have done is uh, on the right side here, there is a cell, there's a row, you know, column called projections, where we have assumed that uh, the kind of requirement is exactly the same. Uh, so the demand remains the same. And we've assumed the same crude price and same INR USD rate. Now, if I change uh, the INR USD rate by one rupee, so that becomes uh, 71. The impact is nearly about 13,000 crore uh, extra import bill on government of India right if on the other hand I increase the crude price by a dollar the impact is again roughly about 13,000 crore uh, on government of India right so we are looking at impact uh, of about close to 13,000 crore which is approximately two billion dollars 
if uh, the crude price moves by a dollar or if rupee dollar moves by uh, a rupee right uh, now let's assume that we have this kind of a disruption which happened yesterday and you have crude prices that fall by you know go up by 10 percent on average correct so i'm going to take this and multiply this by 1.1 and let's say currency itself kind of moves down by 4%. So I'm going to multiply this by 1.04. So the kind of impact you see because of these two transactions in terms of import bill is roughly to the tune of 1.3 lakh crore, right? So roughly about 1 lakh 30,000 crore is our extra import bill because of this activity. So to summarize it quickly, a one rupee move in INR depreciating would basically add about 13,000 crore to our bill. Uh, a US dollar one per barrel price move in crude oil prices will add about 13,000 crore to our import bill. And a 10% move in oil prices along with a 4% currency depreciation without any demand increase will add nearly 1.3 lakh crore to our import bill. That is not to say this is happening. Uh, these supply disruptions can be temporary in nature and probably in a couple of months more supply should come in on stream and you know as oil prices go up then additional supply always comes up that's a, that's how a commodity cycle works but this just gives a sense in terms of you know can we quantify the overall impact of what a movement in currency or a movement in oil prices will do to our overall import bill make no mistake this is only imports we also do some exports of uh, petroleum products so uh, the net impact could be much lower, but this is the impact analysis on what happens to our imports on movement of oil prices or currency. Thank you.